So for this next activity, we're going to be using some ping pong balls in a bucket here. So the reason why I have these out is so that uh, we're going to be practicing using our feet, especially our toes, to pick up these balls and put them into the bucket here. So the reason why we're doing this is so that we are more mindful of where our feet are in relation to our body. A lot of times when we're doing kihon or kata, um, I'll say to a lot of students, you know, if your, to your toes aren't you know, pointing in the right direction, especially if you're in a back stance, um, sometimes your toes are kind of pointing outward. Okay, so with this activity, um, we're hoping that you're more mindful of where your toes are in relation to your body and to where it is on the ground. And we're gonna practice that. Um, we're gonna be doing like a dexterity um, activity by picking these balls up with our toes and then putting them in the bucket here like that. Okay, so in front of me, I have 15 ping pong balls in a bucket. Uh, if you don't have ping pong balls, you can use golf balls. Um, any similar sized objects also work well. Um, or you can, if you don't have anything, uh, you can just roll up a piece of paper into a ball that's about the size of these ping pong balls. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna pick up each one, kind of feel how it is um, in your toes. And when you drop it, that sensation, okay? And then you're gonna alternate. And make sure you're not crushing those ping pong balls as you pick them up, okay? Grab them, alternating each time. It's a little bit harder than it looks. One more up here. Okay. Okay. So now, kind of feel how your toes are to the ground. Okay. You have a little bit more sensation in them. Okay. So the next time when you're doing sonobazuki or a kihon or any kata, okay, think about where your toes are. Okay. They should be always planted nice and firmly on the ground. Okay. 